Vital, now in a brand new pack. Welcome back. High protein, low fat, no carbs, the Atkins diet, the Mediterranean diet, the DASH diet. It can be a real minefield out there. So we're going to try and make some sense and take good science and dietary advice when it comes to fats in our diet. Andrea, how much fat do we need on a daily basis? Well, our bodies need between about 40 to 60 grams of fats per day um, and ideally healthy fat. So what you've got there is the extra fat that we can have on a daily basis. Yes. If you look at a healthy, balanced diet, what you can add into your diet to make sure that you get enough of the healthy fats would typically be about a tablespoon of cold pressed sunflower or olive oil, okay. half a small avo and a handful of nuts. And a handful of nuts is not like that, <laughs> but like it's that. It's your handful. It's That's a dainty correct. handful. Yes. Okay. Fascinating. And many right. people also take um, omega-3 supplements because that's the one healthy fat that we can't get enough through our normal diet. So let's talk intake. about that because I'm convinced that we should no longer be looking at eating low-fat diets but rather eating good fat diets. Would you agree? That's correct. We have to distinguish between the healthy and unhealthy or less healthy fats and the ones that, that we should try and limit are the highly processed and um, heated fats we get in deep fried foods and also to limit our intake of saturated fats we typically get in red meat. Okay and you're saying unsaturated fats as in omega-3 those are our good fats? That's correct yes. Okay. So now in theory that works brilliantly but in practice it's often hard to tell about the fat content in food so I'm going to ask Sonia and our audience to join us up front Sonia, why don't you come forward and uh, you're going to do a little test for us. We've got a whole bunch of food here, comparisons, uh, and you're going to tell us what you think has a higher or lower fat content. All, All right. right Sonia, I'm going to start with this plate over here. What would you say is a higher fat content? <coughs> the chocolate bar or the muesli bar? I'm going to go with the chocolate bar for this one. Well, actually, those two have the same fat content oh, really? per mass. Now, I'm not saying that chocolate is, is as healthy as a muesli bar. Obviously, the muesli contains fiber and lots of nutrients. But don't fool yourself into um, buying the muesli bar thinking that it's low fat. The yogurt covering that they put around it is actually white chocolate with a dash of yogurt. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't feel bad. I got it wrong too. So, <laughs> listen, that's fine. What about the next one? A quiche or uh, some sandwiches? More mm, fat content? Probably the quiche. And how much more fat do you think? Probably about 50% more. A hundred percent more. Really? Right, That's right, yeah. yes. Yeah. Considering that the pastry is full of fat, mm -hmm. and typically in restaurants they use eggs and cream, plus some cheese inside, and that's why the restaurant quiches taste so great. Cool. Your pasta salad, what do you say? I'll go with the one with, with, this, with the dressing. Okay. How much more fat is in there, Andrea? Three times more. Wow. So an innocent little pasta salad for lunch can very easily be a very high fat meal without you intending to consume that much. These two, I couldn't tell the difference. What do you think, Sonia? Yeah, I have to admit I can't tell any difference there either. So these are roast veggies okay. and depending on how you cook it, there can be up to four times more oil in the one bowl compared to the other one. So if you put your raw vegetables in a tray and roast them with lots of olive oil that you pour over that, vegetables can absorb their own volume in oil. And the final one, I think that's a dead obvious one. Definitely how is. much more fat do you think in this particular salad though, Sonia? Um, I'm going to go 100%, same as the quiche. Well, actually, this one with a blob of mayonnaise contains five times more sure. fat. You will see this salad has no dressing. And the point is, many of the takeaway outlets do offer salads, but often you'll, it's served with a blob of mayonnaise, and you don't always realize how much oil is in there. In fact, a salad like this can have the same calorie content or kilojoule content as a hamburger. Can you imagine that, huh? trying to eat healthy and having a salad <laughs> instead of a hamburger and you don't like the salad and there's more calories in it? Oh, no. You know, research shows that the total amount of fat in your diet isn't linked with weight or disease. What really matters is the type of fat and the total calories in your diet. Eating good fats in place of bad fats lowers your bad LDL cholesterol and plays a role in the prevention of diabetes. So it's preferable to choose a good fat diet over a low fat diet. Vital, now in a brand new pack.